I got a question from Gator over at Scrollsaw Village and he's working on a pattern in GIMP and he wants to be able to put text along a path and he was wondering how to go about doing that in GIMP. So I thought I'd go ahead and put together a quick little tutorial and show you how to do just that. Over in GIMP I have uh, my canvas selected and I'm going to go ahead and create some text that we want to add along a path. So I'm going to just type in scroll saw art and then um, what we could do is choose whichever font we want to use and uh, make it whatever size we need it. I'm going to go ahead and make it about this size here. I think that will work pretty good. And then I'm going to select my move tool. And then from uh, here what we need to do is create a path or a line in which we want our lettering to follow. So up here I have the path tool. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm going to just click once and then click again and that creates a straight line. Uh, we want this to be a curved line so somewhere in the middle I'm going to click and drag and then it creates these bezier handles. So I'm going to drag those bezier handles around and create a nice curve. And these are very similar to the nodes that are being used in Inkscape. So a path like that I think looks really nice so that's what we're going to go ahead and use. Uh, so what we got to do now is to be able to look at and manipulate this path. So I'm going to come up here to Windows, Dockable Dialogs and then select the Paths and that will show the Paths tab. And as you can see right on the top is the path that we just created, that nice little line. Off to the left we have two little buttons. Uh, the very far left will toggle the visibility of that path. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and that will make sure that the path that uh, we just created is visible. And in fact let me switch over to the move tool and you'll see that this is the path that we created. And I could also toggle that on and off uh, as far as visibility. Okay, so with the path selected, I'm going to switch over to the Layers uh, tab, and I'm also going to select the, uh, the Text layer, and we want to make sure both of those are selected. And I'm going to move this over to the side a little bit, because I'm going to right-click on the Text layer, and we have an option right here that says Text Along Path. So I'm going to click that, and what that does is it creates a... Um, uh, what looks to be letters along a path. And in all actuality, these aren't letters. Basically, what ends up creating is a copy of our font and letter information below and creates a path along another path. And in fact, if we zoom in a little bit here, uh, let me kind of zoom in just a tish here. And then I'm going to come over here to the path tool. If I click that, and then click these lettering, uh, you'll see that uh, these are very similar to the nodes you would see in Inkscape. So in all actuality, this isn't font information or lettering, it's just a collection of paths. So I'm going to come over here and select the Move tool again, and let's zoom back out, and let's put everything back to the where, way it used to be. And uh, I'm going to click over onto the Paths tab, and I'm going to deselect the path that we initially created. I'm going to toggle off the visibility, and what's left is the paths that create our word art. And we could toggle on the visibility there however we like. Now, we can't really do much with this quite yet. So what we need to do is create a selection based upon this path. So I'm going to select the path that we just created, the scroll saw art, and down here there's a little red box that says path to selection. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and you'll kind of see that it creates a selection based upon this path, and you can kind of see the little dotted lines. I'm going to uncheck the visibility of this path, so all that we are left with is the selection. And then I'm going to come over here to the layers menu, and I'm going to create a brand new layer. And I'm going to just click OK. And then from here, uh, I'm going to use my Paint Bucket tool. And uh, I could click 
in inside uh, the uh, selection here and it will fill that entire selection in with the paint bucket color of your choice and you remember that we set that over here. I'm going to come up here to select and none to deselect the path or the uh, selection I'm sorry and what we're left with is the layer that we just created. I'm going to select the move tool and I could move that however I want. We could also do the same thing along uh, circles or ellipses. Uh, so let's go ahead and try that. Uh, I'm going to deselect the uh, wavy one that we just created. Uh, I'm just toggle the visibility so we're not uh, distracted with that. Over here I'm going to choose the ellipse tool and I'm just going to create a simple ellipse. So we have a, uh, a path here and what I want to do is uh, follow this path. Uh, in fact, let's, let's make this more of a circle something along those lines. So again over on the path style or on the path tab I'm going to select that one and I want to create a new path. Um, and right down here uh, there's like a little circle here it says selection to path. Remember this is an ellipse tool is a selector tool or a selection tool. We want to turn that into a path. So I'm just going to go ahead and click that and you can see the circle turns into a path. I'm going to come over here to the move tool and then come up here to uh, select and none uh, to get rid of that and then we're over here in the paths uh, tab I'm going to select the visibility and there is our path. Again we'll select the path swing over to the layers um, uh, tab and then we'll select our layer the word art layer and then Again, I'm going to right click and then do text along path and that creates our, our uh, text along that path. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a, come on, well I guess we got to fill it in first. So we're going to select the paths uh, tab and find our new path that we just created. I'm going to deselect the visibility of the circle so that only the uh, the scroll saw art path is shown. I'm going to select that and then do path to selection once again. Deselect the visibility, switch over to the layers, create a new layer, click OK and again I'm going to fill this in with red. So from there I'm going to come up here to deselect and then uh, we can move this however we want it and you could also uh, rotate it as well so come on let's rotate a little bit so maybe if we want it something along those lines instead and then let's move this to a little bit more towards center but you would probably want to line it up a little bit more. Now if you want scroll saw art to be going this other way what we could do is come over here to the pass tab and what we're going to do is we're going to have to flip it. So I'm going to select uh, the visibility of that circle that we just created and over here we have, let's see if I can find it, right here is the flip tool. I'm going to select that and then uh, we'll select this uh, our circle and then we'll just go oh under tool options we got to make sure that the path uh, box is uh, highlighted and then we'll just click that and it flips it. So now what we could do is come back here to the move tool and once again we'll select our path, switch over to layers select our word art, right click, let's pull this over here so you can see what I'm doing, right click, text along path, and now you see that everything is uh, swooping up. So let's go through our final motions. Uh, back to paths, uh, deselect the circle, the new path created there, we want to create a selection based upon that. We'll deselect the visibility and then over in the on the layers menu we'll create a brand new layer, 
click OK, and then with the paint bucket, we'll fill that in. Come up here to uh, select None, and now we could take this and move it and manipulate it however we need it. Uh, so in this case, we might want to rotate it to something like that. And now with the Move tool, we could kind of kind of get something along those lines happening. So that's basically how you use the text along path tool in GIMP. Now unfortunately GIMP really isn't designed to do text along path very well. Uh, a better tool would probably be Inkscape, but uh, if you're hard pressed you could do it in GIMP as well. I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Uh, if you uh, found it useful be sure to hit the like button over on YouTube. Uh, that helps me out an awful lot. Uh, you could find me over at Scrollsaw Village. You could also find me on Facebook as well. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time uh, happy scrolling.